Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Christine with Patter Crafts, and today we are here with Collection 1 from the Scrapping for Less Flavor of the Month July 2018 card kit. So right now I'm just kind of looking through the elements and trying to get a game plan of what I think I want to do with these cards. This collection features Happy Birthday Boy paper from Echo Park, some frames and tags, we have some sequins, happy birthday stickers, and um, we've got this stamp set from Avriel called Party Fox. So I did not use these card sketches this month. I forgot to print out the sheet and I did pull it up on my tablet and I did start this collection using sketch number three, as you see there. But as I move on, I decided to save time that I would not use the sketches. I just wanted to go with some simpler designs. So for card number one, I've got my pattern paper down. My card is A2 size, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And we're going to start adding the layers. I did pre-cut and mat these layers um, ahead of time to just kind of save time so you don't have to watch me cut paper. And as I'm putting this card together, I realize I forgot to put down my little banner pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that back up, put down these little banner pieces, and then put the card back together. The nice thing about the adhesive that I use is as long as it doesn't sit there too long, I can generally pull it back up. And what I mean by too long is not more than a few minutes. <laughs> so um, anyway... This is card number one. So now we're going to decorate the inside. Since the sketch didn't leave a ton of room for a sentiment or the um, images, I decided to use all pattern paper on the front and then stamp the inside with the images and the sentiment. So here's our two little foxes and the sentiment that says, happy birthday, you party animal. So we're going to... Um, that's going to do it for card number one. I was going to trim that little excess off on the front panel, but I, I opted not to. And we're just going to move on to card number two. So card number two, again, we're, we've cut down some pattern paper to four and a quarter by five and a half. I go ahead and put that down using some of the frames and tags that came with my kit, including this sentiment strip. We're going to pop up on some foam tape. Popped out these little presents from one of the frame pieces. And we're gonna add our little foxes. So they have been hand stamped, um, cut out, and colored ahead of time. So I'll go ahead and add them right to the front of our card. And then we're going to stamp our sentiment on the inside. Again, it's going to be happy birthday, you party animal. And that's gonna do it for card number two. Now card number three was my favorite of this collection. I absolutely loved these happy birthday stickers. Um, as soon as I saw them in the kit, I knew exactly what I was gonna do with them. I wanted them to stay in the same order. I wanted them to be on some white cardstock so that they would pop. And I, like I've had this idea since I opened the kit. So right here, I'm just lining up these happy birthdays as best I can so that they're lined up all nice and straight like they are on the sticker sheet. When that's done, I'm gonna grab my trimmer and we're going to trim this down. And that is going to go onto the front of our card. So we've got a purple card base here that's from the kit. I think it's the grape jelly cardstock. We're gonna go ahead and adhere this pattern paper Again, is four and a quarter by five and a half. We're going to add, oh, I'm just trimming off a little bit of the excess there. The card base um, was just a teensy weensy bit bigger than that pattern paper, so I just trimmed the card base down. Now we're going to add our happy birthday piece that we just made. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Here's where I want our little fox to go, but I want him popped up on some foam tape. And then I am taking the little scrap from the banner from the first card and putting it right there on the front of this card. So I'm going to do the inside now. Now because the card base is colored cardstock, I'm going to put this white mat in the middle, stamped the fox, 
and along with the sentiment that says, you party animal. Because happy birthday was so many times on the front, I decided I did not need to stamp it again on the inside. And we're going to go ahead and add some sequins. And I only add the three just above the fox. I was going to add more, but I figured I can always add more, but it's really hard to take off later. So we're going to leave it right here for right now. <laughs> and then we're going to move on to card number four. So card number four is going to be a shaker card. Um, I really love making shaker cards. Don't ask me why. I just do. <laughs> so I'm using my Simon Says Stitch Rectangle dies to cut the front panel down and to make the window for a shaker bit. I have a piece of acetate here that I'm going to cut down to fit that, out, that window part. Add some Tombow Mono Glue. Put that aside to dry. Now here I decided to add the coloring. Um, I was trying to show the markers but that didn't that I'll have to get better at, at remembering to do that. Some of the markers I tried um, then I forgot. So anyway I'll leave all the colors listed below. Now these foxes are going to be colored very simply because when I originally stamped these out it, I had it in my mind that I was going to use the water brush pens to color them in. However, I did not stamp them on paper that would go with water brush pens. This is just some 110 pound white cardstock that I bought from Staples. It does work great with the Copics, but to use the water brush pens, it, they, it just does not work. So I attempted to color and it did not work but because I used the wrong black ink, the Copics were smearing. So I had to be really careful when I was coloring. Um, there is some smudging uh, on these images. You may not see them on camera, but you can definitely see them in person. Um, so I kept the coloring very simple on all of these cards. So now that I have our little foxes done, I'm gonna go ahead and add lots and lots of foam tape to this panel. This foam tape I did purchase from Amazon and I will link it below. It's the three quarter inch size. Um, I just found for it was cheaper than I think the half inch. Um, I just felt like maybe I was getting a little more because it was. Anyway, I'll, I'll link it below. You can decide which one you might work for you if if you like this tape at all. I've tried other foam tape, but I just really like the scotch. So we're putting down the back piece that I want to show through the window. Then we're going to take off the backing from the foam so that that's ready to go. Grab my sequin mix and then I want to just make sure that they're not too bunched up on top of each other because then they're hard to move around when you do that if, if they're all bunched up, especially once you put your panel down. So now I'm just going to go ahead and glue our little foxes down with some Tombow Mono, the never-ending bottle of Tombow Mono. <laughs> um, I thought about putting some presents on the front, but um, as you'll see at the end, I, I opted not to. Again, I can always add them later. So now we're going to work on the inside of the card, and I've got the sentiment, Happy Birthday, You Party Animal Again. We're going to go ahead and stamp that with some Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And we're going to add a few of the confetti. Well, it's one stamp, but I added it a few times. And we're going to just go ahead and add that to the center of the card. And I had a little bit of smudging right there with the ink. So I just used a, like a white marker pen that I have. <clears throat> so now here is a closer look of all of the cards. So this is the last card we made, the shaker card. And there's our inside. And here we have card number three. This is my favorite of these four. I really like the stamp set. I thought it was really great for decorating the inside and the outside of the card. Um, I was really happy with this collection. And here is the second card we made. Happy birthday, you party animal. 
and that first card again. And that again was using sketch number three and are decorated inside. So thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I've got collections two, three, and four all coming out soon. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button. But until next time, bye.